Paul McCullough's the third man. Andy Murray coming out of the red corner in the green trunks. Box last week in the National Stadium in Dublin against Leonard Lothian, a late re replacement who quit on his stool at the end of the third. Disappointing for Murray, who won to make up for a previous one in, in um, Belfast when in the King's Hall he fought James Gorman and he got a terrible cut, but he was ahead at the time and under the rules he got that decision as well. So he wants a meaningful one that'll go the distance. And here he is in against a, a very good promising lad in uh, Evenox, who is engaging tonight in his 11th pro fight. No great success up to now, just two wins, eight losses. And it's a sixth fight of 2000 and late 2007-2008. Comes from Latvia. In many ways, it's a sign of the times. A lot of Latvian people, Lithuanian people, not to mention Polish people, Slovaks and Czechs, living and working in Ireland now, as Ireland becomes, in many ways, the melting pot of nations. Andrew Murray was an excellent amateur, and he has started his pro career in some style, because in his pro fighting, this is his 11th pro fight, and he's had 10 wins, and four of those have been inside the distance. He's a lovely boxer, Andy Murray. He's a, he's not a powerhouse puncher, but what he does, he wears you down, but he's a lovely boxer, he's lovely to watch. It's a great jab he has, and he's having great success with that jab tonight, because it's never out of Ivanos's face here, and that's where he gets his leverage from, and he gets his timing from. He gets a jab out, banging and bangs over across those right hands. Now, they're not devastating right hands, but they wear you down after four or five, six rounds, they begin to take their toll on you. Perfect style, lovely style, Murray, and he's that little shimmy when he's coming, a little shake of the body. And the jabbing is excellent, as Dave Boy McCauley says, well worth watching his jab. Lovely and accurate, and his hands are quick. So it takes the guard of Ivanovs right up, covering his face, and offensively, the Latvian hasn't been able to do a darn thing in this first round, which has been absolutely dictated by Andrew Murray. This is certainly a 10-point round for him. Look at that jab, it's never out of Ivanos' face. It's, Ivanos' face is all red, and, and right away in this first round, that jab is having a telling effect on this fight already, because Ivanos can feel the full, fo the full force of that. Even though it's, it's not very powerful, but it's doing a bit of damage, and it's getting through. Every time he throws it, it's getting right through that guard. He's putting together some combinations to Andrew is. He's only uh, five, six seconds to go in the round, so not enough time to do any any telling damage, but it's been a perfect run by Andrew Murray. Beautiful jabs, lovely crosses, and a 10-pointer for him without doubt. It's the second round in his pro career. Just been adding up, Andy Murray has now boxed 46 rounds. And he's pretty well won them all. He was an absolutely brilliant amateur. Disappointed that he didn't get Olympic fame out of it. He was good enough, certainly, to go there. But alas, that's the way it goes. It's much, much harder now. In the old days, he would probably have been selected on an Irish team and take his chances then in the Olympics. Look at this for two hands paid for Murray. This would have been one that would be expected to go the distance. And the red face of Ivan Ovs is beginning to tell the story of the fight. It's a red face and he's not blushing with embarrassment. Murray just has taken squatter's rights, so to speak, in the face of the young Latvian. A brilliant display by Murray, both hands jabbing successfully, accurately and often with his left hand and his crosses have followed up. Mind you've got to say, Ivanov has taken a certain percentage on the arms and gloves, and he's defended his face very well, but that's another cracking left hand got through. What's One thing you've got to say, sorry, Dave, is he, this boy can take it. He can, but he's being a wee bit too negative, because what could happen here is the referee could step in here and say, right, fight over, because 
he's not throwing enough punches back, Ivanos. You know, he, he's receiving far too many, and he's not giving enough. He's on the receiving end the whole way through from the first round to this round. And it's to see him right through. He's beginning to throw some more shots now, but he's not doing enough. Because if this keeps going the way it's going, the ref just because of the sheer volume of punches, the referee could step in and say, right, the fight's over. Yeah, and that won't suit a lot of people if that happens. The only one it might suit is Andy Murray because he doesn't care. He's going after it now, and how much more can Ivanov? He's got to throw something in return, Ivanov, or Paul McCullough, the referee, will step in between them and say enough's enough. He's still able to defend himself, but it's passive resistance now because he hasn't thrown a thing offensively. It basically, his whole thing is survival now. Murray throws an uppercut, lucky enough for Ivanov, that missed by the proverbial mile. Because had it connected, we'd be catching the Latvian out here on the side of the ropes. The saving grace for Ivanos is the fact that Paul McCulloch was a professional fighter himself, and he knows he has a really good idea of whether a fighter's in trouble or not, and he knows whether the punches in the gloves and on the arms are doing a big lot of damage. So that is why he, maybe not, he might not jump in as quick, because he knows that the Ivanos, he's not in big, big, big trouble, but the fact that he's been so negative, you know, might he might turn and say to himself, well, if he's not throwing punches back, there's something wrong, so I'm going to have to do something here to stop this guy from taking a lot of punishment. He's not in obvious trouble, except that he's absorbing a lot of stuff, taking a lot on his, on his elbows as well, you'd have to say. But, but, at the end of this round, Andrew Murray will be leading by two rounds to zero, or 20 points to 18, and that's the way it is, without a doubt. Murray has absolutely dominated. Round three. It was way by there, Paul McCullough had a long, lingering look at Yuris Avianovs. Didn't see that he's in any particular trouble. He's certainly not cut, he's just reddened up. But he's taken a lot of stuff. He's covered himself up well, mind you. Not every punch of Murray's is getting through, but enough are getting through. He's got a real good tight defence, but the, the fact is, and the, the way the referee will see this, is the fact he's not throwing enough, Jimmy, and once you become too negative, what they do is they jump in and say, bang, the fight's over because you're not do, you're, you're not throwing enough punches in reply. He is throwing a wee bit now, but that's the first spot of uh, punches we've seen this guy throwing in two, two rounds. That's the very first time in the fight that Ivan Zobs has come forward with a bit of action. Decided there's no. Oh, he's done. Caught beautifully by Murray. In the first count of the fight, he looks to his corner for advice. It's over, it's over. Just as we thought it might. Yes, it's over. Andy Murray is the winner and won it with a marvellous display. And the first time in the fight that Ivanovs came through to try and be a little bit offensive. He left himself open and Murray dropped him. And this is it here, cracking stuff from Andy Murray. He just piled the pressure on. But Ivanos, was, this was the first round where he threw a lot of punches, but he got caught with a cracking right hand and that was it. Bang, down he went. And he didn't really want to know. He thought, bang it, I've had enough. This is it, I want out. It wasn't a devastating right hand, but it was enough to do the damage. It certainly stunned him though. And Paul McCullough, as you so rightly say, is a professional himself, an ex-professional boxer, so he knows the game, knows it inside out, and he had seen enough. So maybe had he uh, persisted, uh, the young Latvian with his passive resistance, he might have lasted a round or two more. When he finally decided he better do something about it, he was found to be in punch Ladies death. And, after one and minute, 11 himself. seconds of the third round with Jervis Ivanos. In no position to defend himself, the winner, Andrew Murray. Well done, Andrew. That's three wins in a row. And so far, he hasn't been past the fourth round.
Good pro. And good ladies and well done, Andrew. Representing uh, Canada. Uh, Havanus.